So this is something that a lot of people um, may run into. So this should be, I'm actually not sure, I think it should be like a, um, an Allen bit. But this has been completely rounded out as you can see. So what I've done, just here, I've smashed in a spline bit. But it's going to be really, really easy to round it out more than it's already rounded. So what I'm going to do is my method of destruction here is to get on a bar like this, hold some pressure on it while hammering. Um, this can take, let me just move it so you get a better, get a better shot. This can take uh, a really long time and a lot of effort and unfortunately you just have to be patient with it. No, uh, this one here is rounded out completely. It was rounded badly before I got here. It does bite a little bit. I think in this instance, I might just have to go the full hog with the impact and just see what happens. Okay then. Let's see if she wants to do this or not. Nope, just rounded out even more. I didn't think that was going to work. Okay, just looks like it's going to be back to beating on it with a hammer or making the hole larger with a drill and then smacking in a different bit. Okay, so after much smashing and bashing, I've eventually managed to uh, keep smashing on the hole to make it slightly wider so I could fit this big old square point in there. Now this, this part here is loose, but this part here is like solid. That took a lot of effort to beat that in there and I wanted to make sure it's nice and tight before I try and turn it and I might even just try and get it in there just a little bit deeper before I try and turn it. It's going to start to skew. is low. So I'm going to say if this impact couldn't touch it I'd never be able to undo it by hand. Okay we're back. We have a fully charged battery. The speed is on the maximum setting. Let's just hope it comes out. She tight, but she ain't budging. Okay, this is my last stitch effort. The um, I can't really widen it out anymore. It's kind of a maximum widening. The square drive just rounded it out even more, which isn't too bad because I still have spline sockets that will fit in there, impact one. So I've just hammered one in there as good as I can, just like I showed you before. And now I'm going to see if it will uh, come out. And I don't really have much joy. Um, not much joy. Don't really have much hope, but <laughs> we'll see. Oh my days! Can't believe it. There it is. In all its glory. So this is essentially what's left of the drain plug. 
and you can see how I had to really hammer that in there to get a good seal and how little there is left around the outside before you start getting close towards the threads um, that took a lot of effort you can see well maybe you can't see it but maybe if you compare it to yours you'll see that getting a good fit right off the bat is essential I think what I mean it was obviously hellishly tight anyway but whoever tried to undo this last time just rounded it out completely um, but there is another way to refill the gearbox if you can't get that out so I believe this is the uh, gearbox um, vent which is that tube that we pulled off the car but left connected to the gearbox you can fill it through that but it would be very slow very very slow going but if you don't have a choice you don't have a choice um, but at least there is more than one way to skin a cat so to speak um, fortunately for me I've got my drain plug out and the threads are not damaged which is fantastic so I can just buy a different plug and just pop it straight in. I might try and find one with a hex head on it rather than one of these stupid Allen heads.